What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we got ourselves an ESC here. I'm going to simply show you guys how I saw my ESCs. Very simple little tax task that you're going to have to end up doing uh, if you're doing speed runs or any type of RC stuff. So pretty much, um, just to start off, I removed my cable from here so it's out of my way. So I had previously used this on another vehicle. Um, so I do have... Uh, a uh, little tinning there so make sure you have a good solder and uh, make sure it's nice and hot and uh, to tin this all you need to do is pretty much you uh, you just want to heat this up and give it some solder and it will tin up pretty easy okay just like that okay that's, that's a little too much there but you would do that for all of them so let's get this cable out of the way and I have done solders in the past and some went well, some went, didn't go well. But just to let you guys know, practice is the key. If you don't practice, you're never going to get good at it. And just a tiny bit. You don't want to heat too much because uh, the internal of the ESC, you can mess up the ESC. You can uh, destroy the ESC from inside. So pretty much this one already has a tin. Um, you want to do the same thing for the cable, even though my cable does have some on it and good solder does matter. So just to let you know, I am using uh, the solder. This solder has flux inside. So nice and hot and look how beautiful that looks to me. That thing is nice and sweet. Love it. So simple process from here. We're going to start off from one end to the other end. And what we're going to do here is pretty much we'll start off right here. So if you tin this thing up really good, you shouldn't have to put any more solder on it. And if you have enough solder there, if you don't have enough solder on it, but I am going to be uh, pretty much giving it more solder. So we don't just uh, leave anything empty. So good solder, you, you will feel this thing just sink in like it flows right in and it should capture heat pretty easy and if you tap it a bit it will capture and grab and that looks pretty good to me right there this is one heck of a solder here I did I never got any good at it and I am pretty much I'm gonna let the camera focus right there there you go that looks really good to me I'm gonna move on to the next one uh, so I am gonna be running this baby into my uh, I am going to be doing a big rock that's going to need uh, this ESC has been sitting around. So I decided to put this baby to use. Never liked Tabby Wing, but it is going to do its job now. So I just want to tend this up pretty good. There you go. You can feel it when it melts. You can feel the whole thing just collapse right in. It melts in like a butter. So I have a little bit, a lot of solder here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to adjust this to a level. And I'm going to just let it flow in. Okay, we're going to just let this baby flow in. And I'm going to give this a tap so it can start. And transfer the heat. There you go. And that baby is melted right in. And I might put a little bit more solder on it so it can get a good grip on it. So a little bit more solder. There you go. Give it a moment. It's going to grab and it's going to cut off. And it's going to pretty much, there you go, there's two, and the last one here, I do have a little bit too much on it, so I am, yeah, I got kids going out crazy, they just got out of school out there, so pretty much, so Just want to make this a flat surface there you go that looks better and I don't have my grabber or whatever they call it um, it's a syringe that just sucks it all up but when things starts to flow your way you're all set and good 
And I am going to tin this guy up a bit. So if you're going to be in the hobby, you're going to be doing a lot of this stuff. You're going to be doing a lot. Okay. Don't think you're not going to be doing this. You are going to be doing this. You don't want to rely on your hobby shop guy. And you don't want to rely on your friend. Even though he might come to your aid, but it's not the case. It's not how it works. You always got to learn. And it takes time, okay? I wasn't really good at it because I did solder before. A lot of people told me my ESC kept on heating up. Um, this hobby ring will heat up on you if you put in a limitless on it. But they told me it was on my ESC. But really, uh, no, they told me it was a solder. But really, it wasn't a solder. There you go. Good contacts. Some beautiful contacts there. Some beautiful, beautiful contacts there. And I am happy. I'm still learning and I'm still going at it. But there they are. I did these as well and pretty easy this takes a trick to figure out if your solder is good you just try to pull on it make sure it's not hot it don't just break the esc but that's not going anywhere that's not going anywhere anyway guys that's how i do solder my escs thank you for watching my video see you guys on the next one if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to send me a message and if you want to know more about this flux um I'm using this electrical stuff, okay? It has solder in it. So some of the people might not like this, but I do use this and it works up for flux. I used to use a flux, but this makes a mess. This thing has flux in it. So I really don't need to uh for, I really don't need to put use this flux. I do use it in some places, like on these connectors, because they don't have flux. Uh, I, I put tap of it on the connector first. Anyways, that's it. I'm gonna turn my machine off. And if you guys have any other issues or if you think your solder is not good, you're not understanding, so pretty much check out my videos. I do have, uh, I'm going to put a little bit more on this connector on the side. I just want to close the contact there. And uh, But anyways, I'm going to end the video there, guys. Thank you for watching my video, and we will see you on the next one.